Hey, C-Max here. Welcome to the conclusion of C-Max Arms Conversion Test Number One. Now we've had this out for a year now, um, so it's time to bring it in and go through the results. Uh, these things take time, so I appreciate you uh, you hanging in there with me. Now I'm going to put a link to the very first video in the upper right hand corner. Just click on that that card thing that pops up and uh, it'll take you right to the video so you can watch the first one. They're very short. There's only like three and then this one. So I would watch those and then watch the conclusion here. I'd like to start out to say that any of these products I would not hesitate to use for a second. You know, when I started out doing the gun thing, we had very limited choices. They all did great. First failure we had was at six months. We had one of them fail. Then we had about another one around nine months, and then we've had some other ones fail between the nine and 12 month period. Now, the premise was that, you know, we left the gun outside, how long would it be protected before you really had a problem? I mean, that's what uh, prompted me to kind of do this test. Uh, I had left uh, my 22 outside overnight, leaning up against the house, and I thought, well, my God, what if I totally forgot about it? How long would it be safe? So that was uh, the whole idea of doing this. Like I was speaking about before, back in the day, about all we had was the three in one, just the basic machine oil. You clean the gun, you solvent on it, and you just put oil on it. That was it, you know. And it, so you were constantly, constantly wiping, um, you know, the gun down. Just you had to constantly wipe it. Then got a little bit better. Basically, we had the. Uh, the rim oil here, which everybody I think can recognize, not thought of too highly today. Uh, and then, of course, just the regular, you know, hops, uh, lube oil. So, I mean, that's basically all we had. Now we've got all these choices, and this is this is just very few. Uh, there are, I would guess, hundreds out there, and they're all better than the original course. So you can't hardly go wrong with picking any of them you're going to have a better product than what I had years ago. So to me, everything's an advantage. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the bar here. Let me zoom in. On the left there, you can see the, the rust is actually flaking off in layers. So the, the unexposed part there that you're looking at, uh, definitely, you know, the metal was uh, definitely vulnerable to this test. And there's the Corrosion X. And uh, try to get a better shot here. Miltech. This is not working too good. Uh, all right, well, you can kind of get, I just want to give you a brief. It'll take too long to try to do it this way. That's what the bar looks like after I just brought it in. September 3rd, 2017. It's been out for one year. So uh, we definitely have some winners. We definitely got a couple of losers, but... Uh, uh, you know, like I said, the first failure didn't happen until six months, and that was only one of them, so that's pretty good. That's, you know, I think that's good. All right, here's uh, the untreated or the control square. These are just snapshots I did to give you a better look. And corrosion X, that's actually a pretty good result. There's some corrosion there, but it's, that's pretty good. It's not the best, though. All right, this is the Militech 1, the regular oil formula. Um, looks like maybe some failure, some success. But the grease did really, really well. That's one of the better uh, better test ones. So the grease did extremely well, as you can see. Here's Liberal Piers Bacon. And uh, it did okay, not too bad. All right, this was uh, the biggest failure because this was our first one, uh, the six month, which was the regular, the original formula, liberal tears. Uh, G96, it did pretty good. And let's come on now. Slipstream sticks. That's from Slipstream like 2000, just one of the other variants, and it did very well, as you can see. Good result. 
Pro Shot B104X. I uh, didn't do too good, but it didn't, you know, it didn't fail. Uh, you know, it wasn't the first fail, so it was pretty good. But look at the uh, Pro Shot One Step. Excellent result. One of the best. So we're going to have to. What we'll try to do is look at the two best ones. And here's the uh, Zero Friction. Also, excellent result. So two of the three did excellent for the Pro Shot uh, three products. M Pro 7, excellent results. Very happy with that. Uh, I like M Pro 7. I was using it just because I had found it at Walmart and liked the way it worked. All right, here's the Frog Lube. Excellent result. This is just a regular type of liquid. And then the next one will be the paste. And then the paste. There's a little bit of uh, corrosion down there at the bottom, but it did, it did pretty well. All right, I'm going to look at the... Uh, so the last one here is the Milcom. It didn't do so hot, which I really didn't expect. But let me look at the uh, the good ones. All right, here's the magnifying uh, camera. So we're looking at the surface, and you can see this is unclean. So this is the dirt, debris from the outside. This is uh, the Miltech One grease. All right, here's the Impro Seven. I'm gonna have to learn to slow that down. Um, it's hard to tell if it's there's anything really on the metal or if it's just dirt. The Pro Shot, that's the cleanest looking metal, without a doubt. Um, that looks like the number one choice so far. I thought this was interesting. Look how much dirt and debris the waxy substance of Frog Lube actually had st stick to it. I thought that was real interesting. Okay, here's the four winners. Miltech One Grease. This has been cleaned with an industrial cleaner. Just sprayed it on a cotton thing and just wiped it off. Uh, the M Pro 7 looked really good. Um, I'm really pleased how all these turned out. Pro Shot really looked good. Um, I believe the Pro Shot and the M Pro 7 are probably the two best. Uh, frog lube cleaned up pretty nice. Maybe a little bit rougher than the others, but uh, not bad. Definitely all four of these are winners. That's pretty good. Uh, one of the winners was the Mil uh, Militech One Grease. It did real well. Let's see if I can get some more light on it, too. All right, and then the next one was Zero Friction, which is going to be right there. to it, the Impro 7. Impro 7. And then the frog loop, which happens to be right next to it. Let's see if I can light over here like that. So those are the winners. Now, um, if I take the Modaddy magnifying glass and look at them. If I had to pick, I would say the absolute winner is the M Pro 7. Uh, the Zero Friction is virtually the same. It's just maybe very slightly on the Frog Lube and the Militech one, but all of them are good. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for sticking with me through the test. Uh, down in the comments section, I'd like to know you know, what do you use and, you know, what products do you like? Also, uh, if you're a lubricant manufacturer and you want to get it on uh, the next test, like do this again just with, uh, you know, different uh, participants, uh, please email me at cmaxarms at gmail.com. Um, I would like to do it again, basically the same thing, but just uh, with, with new oils. All right. Thanks a lot. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.